we're just talking here, folks. Welcome back to Bay Sunday. Our next guest is here to talk to us uh, about the organization Black Girls Code. It's a program that's empowering young African-American girls ages 7 to 14 in the forever changing world of technology. The goal is to build leaders of tomorrow in high tech industry and their battle cry Pretty simple. Imagine, build, and create. And here to talk about the program is your founder, Kimberly Bryant. How are you? Great. Nice to meet you. Well, let's talk about uh, Black Girls Code. Okay. You just started about a year ago. Yes. Why? And tell us about the program. So I started Black Girls Code as actually was not the really the path I was looking at. I was looking at starting a technology company of my own and started to network in the valley, go to different meetups. And, and you're events. a bioengineer, right? I'm a bioengineer. Okay. So I wanted to get into the field because startup is exploding. And I noticed that there weren't many women in many of these meetings. There weren't many people of color. And I figured that didn't really seem right. So I need to do something about that. So I talked to a few folks and decided to really start an organization to kind of funnel that talent into the pipeline. And do you work with the schools? How do you do it? We actually, our program is mainly run as an after school program. So we do interface with the schools and community to kind of identify girls that may be interested in technology. And then the program runs on weekends. Gotcha. Now Black Girls Code, what's uh, what's the name? Where does that come from? Um, just really wanting to have a name that really gave the Strong. girls a sense of confidence. Um, there's not many women of color in technology. Technology. So we're really trying to change that equation and give them something that they can aspire to as young women as they grow, grow up. And grow if up. we've got some viewers out there, some uh, young African-American women that mm -hmm. want to get involved, what do they do? Well, we are currently running a session with a company in San Francisco called ThoughtWorks. It's a video game challenge which focuses on STEM, that science, technology, engineering, and math. And it's a six-week session. And we're also running, or we are having a launch party next Tuesday at The Hub. That's in downtown San Francisco at 901 Mission Street. And we're doing that in coordination with Phil Ting of Reset San Francisco. And that is a really a discussion around diversity and tech and how we can get involved, how folks can get involved and really kind of change the dynamic. So it's based in San Francisco. Yes. It's, and it's solely in San Francisco. It is solely in San but Francisco Will it now. grow? It is growing. So yeah. after we launched in 2011, we have had literally folks call us from everywhere, from uh, New York, D.C., Texas, Alaska, wow. all wanting to start a chapter in their in their town. So we are really hoping to expand the program and grow this year. Is it a nonprofit or? How it is a it? nonprofit. Right. So we do run on grants and sponsorships with corporations and really try to tap into technology companies here to kind of. Um, Foster and, that. And by the way, there are a few. They're quite. Um, <laughs> and is it is it basically you know uh, kids from San Francisco or throughout the whole Bay Area that they want to take part? Um, most of the kids in the first program were from San Francisco. We launched in Bayview Hunters Point at 100% mm -hmm. um, College Prep Institute. But for this program, we have girls coming from East Bay, from the Valley, from San Francisco. So it's really started to grow. Word's and expand. out. Huh? The word is out. Um, can you t talk about some of the projects? What what what's some of these kids be doing? Well, the uh, one really cool project that we're doing now is this current session, we're doing a video STEM challenge. So there's a national competition that's being held all over the U.S. where kids get together and create a video game. That's what they love, Oh, gaming. my God, yeah. yeah. Play to their strength there, <laughs> exactly. right? Exactly. But this game has to teach a topic in science, engineering, or math. So it's going to be really a, an educational as well as a fun activity for the girls to and do. And do parents love you? I, some do. <laughs> <laughs> uh, do you have, I, I call them gym rats, but do you have kids that just can't get enough of it, that kind oh, of thing? Yeah, we do. One of them being my daughter. Oh, and she was go. the inspiration, one of the inspirations personally for starting Black Girls Code. She's been a techie, uh, always on the computer, always doing gaming. And I was like, you really need to learn how to build a game rather than just play them. Uh. <laughs> so, yes, we do have other kids like Kai that are into technology and really taking off. We got a little time left, but uh, it must do your heart a world of good watching these kids grow and, mm -hmm. uh, and you've only just begun. Right. I love it. Um, I spoke to someone recently and I said, this has really become a passion to help girls learn about themselves and develop confidence. Kimberly, all the best. Thank Thanks you. Thanks for coming in. We appreciate it. For more Thank information you. about the organization, Black Girls Code, please log on to blackgirlscode.org. Nice and easy. That's our show for this Sunday. Have a great week, everybody. We'll see you again next week with another edition of Bay Sunday. Take care.